Hey guys, it's Homestead Dad here again. So, the temperatures in the 50s and 40s for January have left. We uh, got about three inches of snow last night. I'm actually a little bit disappointed because I flipped on the TV last night. I normally don't watch too much network television. Um, but they had a warning, you know, come flash across, a weather warning, you know. Uh, what was it? It was a winter weather advisory. One to three inches of snow overnight. I'm thinking to myself, this is Michigan. That's like nothing. So we got our three inches of snow and it looks pretty here again. Uh, I don't even think I'm gonna bother getting the tractor out to plow it. I'm just gonna drive over it and wait for it to get a little bit warmer. But it does look beautiful. See the trees with the little cover of snow. So yeah, if you haven't already, there still should be time, as of when this video gets posted, to uh, enter to win the 100 subscriber giveaway. You've got to be a subscriber. Uh, I'm asking that you share your favorite video, and then just comment in this that video. I'll put a link. It'll be up here um, for that video. But other than that, uh, things here are good. Finished that Ikea bench, finishing that. In fact, let me show you. I'm just gonna give you a quick peek because uh, there will be a video coming out shortly with the whole process, but there it is. I really like the way it turned out. So when uh, that video gets posted, I will link that as well. Other than that, we just got a busy week. We had two basketball games last night. There's supposed to be two basketball games tonight. Um, I think there's another three or four basketball games Actually, there might be more than that because we've got like three games alone on Saturday. So it's a busy week for basketball. Uh, it's coming to an end. I love basketball. Basketball is my favorite sport, but coaching two teams uh, and in the league we play in, we travel up to a couple hours away for games. So when the season's over, I'll be sad that the season's over, but I'll definitely enjoy the extra time, especially around here, trying to get stuff done as we get into spring. So. So, you all know that you can learn anything you want and some things you don't want to on YouTube. Well, I was looking at some videos. My uh, frostless, which is not so frostless, hydrant uh, has been leaking. And of course, when I want to come out here and repair it, it's not leaking. But you can kind of see there where the leaking has been causing everything to melt. So, watch some videos. I'm going to see if I can repair it. Okay, so this rod right in between here is what pushes the plunger down and stops it from going. And it seems like if I turn it on and off, it stops dripping like it is now. But what I'm going to do is pull this up, turn it on for a second. I'm going to throw these vice grips on here. Loosen this set screw. Maybe. 